Is it any working? Leave for recording only. Huh? Leave one for recording only. I see. Okay. Uh, sorry about the technical issues. Um, I'm not able to use my presentation actually. So, but so my the deck I'm using here is slightly different than I prepared for this uh, event. But but it's pretty much same. So so it's okay. Uh, I, I'm going to talk about our initiative, which is called Litecoin, and we have an aim to reinvent the like, the like that you understand uh, on Facebook. Um, we, we are going to introduce our mechanism, which we call proof of creativity. So in contrast to proof of work or proof of stake, we are trying to uh, let creators, I mean content creators, uh, mine, mine Litecoins with their creativity, with their contents. So uh, the problems we are trying to tackle is pretty obvious. Uh, actually, everyone knows, a uh, low secret, is that uh, freelancers, the, the slash uh, workers, those digital journalists, they, they work for likes, but not, they, they don't really get any rewards on the internet. They are always creating contents, but, but they get likes only, not, uh, not really real rewards. And uh, this group of people, actually, uh, they're, they're getting more and more people uh, having this kind of lifestyle. And their contents are getting higher and higher in quality because of the improvement of the uh, hardware, like iPhone. With an iPhone, you can take pictures similar to uh, what we do with a single lens reflex. So there are. There are a few elements of Litecoin protocol, which I'll go uh, to explain one by one. Uh, one is uh, we invented like button, a, a like button that is similar to the Facebook like, but kind of uh, we, we invented. And then we have an algorithm called like rank, which is similar to uh, page rank of Google. And then uh, the two combined it with, will, will be what we call uh, proof of creativity. <coughs> So let's take a very brief look of uh, the history of uh, internet, extremely brief. So 20 years ago, uh, Google, the founders of Google published their paper uh, in Stanford, which is the page rank uh, paper. And then they founded Google based on this core technology. So that uh, page rank is to measure the importance of web page. And the logic is pretty simple, like uh, they're saying, they have an assumption that if there are more um, incoming links, if there are many other web pages pointing to that web page, it means that web page is important. So they have a high like rank. And so it's easier for us to search, to, to reach this uh, web page by search engine. So like rank is something uh, very similar, but to apply that on creative contents. By creative contents, I mean like images, like uh, article. It's elements of web pages, not web pages itself, but the elements of web page. Let's take uh, image as, a, as example in all, our, uh, all of our discussion. So uh, let's say an image has a lot of derivative work, such as I, I wanted to demo, but since I'm not using my computer, I'm not able to demo the, the real site. You can actually go to uh, meme.light.co, M-E-M-E, meme.light.co to see this uh, uh, demo. So uh, it's a demo of uh, derivative work and uh, what, how like rank works. So this particular image, because it generates a lot of derivative works, this image is based on this. This image is also based on this. So we are in our algorithm. This image has a high like rank. And the relationship between these images in Litecoin, we call that content footprint. Content footprint means uh, a content was derived from another. It may be an inclusion, say, uh, I'm, I'm, an art, I'm a writer. I've, write, uh, I've written uh, an article regarding Force Asia, and then I leak uh, an image. Then I get uh, an image taken by one of you. 
that's a kind of content footprint. Other kinds of content footprints are such as uh, if you make an image and then I add the filter to become another image, that's also content footprint. So in our ecosystem, if a content, if a creative content generates more other creative contents, then it will have high like rank. And in contrast, say, because this image has uh, no derivative work, it has a low like rank. And the other factor that affects the like rank of a particular uh, content is the license itself. Because uh, we are in force Asia and we are talking about open. Uh, we are encouraging open. So, say for example, these two contents, these two images, both of them have no derivative work at all. But uh, say if this content is copyrighted, always reserved it, while this image is creative comments, then this image will have a higher like rank than this one. So it, it is kind of similar to Google because Google also favors uh, open system and open source. So the second element is like button. Like button is kind of similar to um, the like button as we know on Facebook. Uh, but the first five are pretty much the same. It's a five point scale for users, for audience to to uh, show their appreciation, how much they like the content, how much they appreciate the content. While the last one is special, we call that a uh, super like. If you really like the content, then you can click super like and pay a certain creator uh, some like coins out of your own pocket. While for the first five uh, buttons, you don't have to, the reader don't have to pay anything. It's actually helping the content creator to mine Litecoin. So the two factors, like button and then like rank combined it is what we call proof of creativity. And we have a mining pool of 1 billion. In total, Litecoin has uh, 2 billion coins in the, uh, in the pool, out of which 50% of it, uh, which is 1 billion, we have reserved it for we have reserved it for the content creators. And uh, we are minting a little bit of Litecoin every day according to this formula. The formula is uh, not so important uh, in this context, but uh, as long as we remember the, the chart. So uh, if we put T, say it's, say it's day uh, five, 365, one year from the, the launch, we pack in T equals 365, then we will get uh, the number of coins that will be minted that day. For example, 10,000. Let's say uh, one year after the launch, we are minting 10,000 on that day, 10,000 Litecoin. So uh, on that day, among all the contents in the Litecoin ecosystem, they got 1 million, say 1 million uh, likes, which means on average, each content will get uh, 0.01 Litecoin. So 10,000 Litecoin to be distributed to 1 million likes. So each like will on average get 0.01 Litecoin. But that's uh, only the, the average because the other factor, which is actually more important, is the like rank. So uh, if these two, back to this example, if these two images, they are getting the same number of likes, this image will have more like coin than this particular image because the like rank is higher. So uh, our formula, our uh, algorithm favors contents that has high like rank and contents that has an, an open license. And we call this mechanism uh, proof of creativity and uh, smart settlement. This is an example in which a content, an image D, was made from 
image A and image C combined it. And image C itself is made from uh, image B. So when a reader like or super like image D, the coin will go to will actually go to all four creators involved in the along the creator chain and all the four platforms involved in the process. That's what we call a uh, smart settlement. So the uh, technology stack, we are, uh, Litecoin is based on Ethereum. So we are on, uh, on the second, the, the uh, development is mostly on the, the second layer here. And we are based on Ethereum. So we write smart contracts on top of the uh, Ethereum network. And we store the fingerprints of every content on Ethereum. Also, we are stay storing the metadata hash on Ethereum. And the actual data is actually stored on IPFS, the uh, independent file system, which is a distributed uh, file system uh, across the world, hosted by lots of IPFS nodes. And on top of Litecoin services, there are a few dApps developed by us to store the uh, act as uh, the, the interface for end users. And uh, Litecoin itself is an open uh, protocol and also open source available on GitHub today. So actually, uh, other than ourselves who are making the, the apps, uh, everyone can also build their the apps on top of uh, Litecoin. So these are the apps that's uh, working on the Litecoin ecosystem. I'll introduce uh, two of them. One is uh, what we call putty images, which is uh, pretty obvious, the uh, opposite of Getty image. So uh, Getty image is the uh, biggest image database, as uh, you may know. So uh, we are making uh, putty images, which is also an image database, storing all the uh, most of the open contents, the, the images, but which you can use for free. And if you use pick a image from the putty image uh, database, you are going to put a like uh, below the image. And if people like the image, both you and the photographer himself, him or himself or herself will get a like coin in the similar way as here. So uh, this is an example of image, but you can imagine this is uh, say you're a writer like, like me, I, I write stuff, I write something and I lead uh, an image. So I include this image into my work. And when my work get Litecoin, the photographer will get Litecoin as well. So, uh, so the very core of Litecoin is to encourage people to use uh, open license for, for, their for their creations. And since it's Force Asia, we, we, are all about talk, we are all talking about uh, encouraging open standards, open technology, open license. Uh, but over the years, usually when we ask others to open their contents, it's very much based on selflessness, like based on uh, that you want, to, you want to contribute. While uh, we are trying to provide a business model for contribution, for Creative Commons. Say there are, uh, at the moment, there are about 1.3 billion works on, on the internet, which is licensed under Creative Commons, but they don't really have a business model. What we are trying to do is, uh, is to offer a business model for all these Creative Commons content. And uh, the ironic thing is, it actually works uh, in contrast to the uh, tra traditional wisdom because Traditionally, we think if I open my work, I'll not get any income. But in the Litecoin system, the more open you are, actually, uh, the more easy you get Litecoin. Say for this image, say they, it is uh, Creative Commons. So a lot of people use this image to like build their own content. Then this image will get a lot of Litecoin. While for this photographer, they, they close their content 
and it is not getting any derivative work, and it's not getting any Litecoin. So it's the uh, reverse of what we have in the traditional world. And uh, the other service we are we will have next year is uh, blockchain. Blockchain, but in but not B L O C K block, B L O G block. It is like uh, blocking on blockchain. So we are offering uh, something like uh, Medium, but uh, even more simple than Medium. We are not supporting image. <laughs> it's only text. So every blog post will stored as a piece of content on blockchain with its own uh, content fingerprint. If uh, an image is leaded, actually it will point to the image stored on uh, put the images. And the reason uh, is called blockchain.md. The domain is called blockchain.md is because we are using a markdown file to uh, the markdown format to store all the blocks, so as to stay simple and uh, and still keeping the the basic format of all the blog poses. So people like me who who likes to write uh, write articles but not to promote them uh, can store all the articles on blockchain. Uh, I mean this particular website, and then the internet media will go here to, it's like a, an article warehouse, uh, and the JIT content farm. You can get articles from here to publish on my website in a legitimate way, and still keep the attribution. You know who actually uh, wrote it in the very beginning, and then if I get like and like coin, Certain part of the Litecoin will go to the original writer, so that's the uh, that's the idea. This is a case study uh, which I I may be able to show you on this computer. I'm not so sure, sure. So this is the third service we are doing. We we call it OIS O I C E. OIS is like made from the word of uh, choice and voice. The O I C E uh, without the C H and without the V. So we are. Uh, I've I've been making games uh, for 18 years because uh, before I start the Litecoin project last year, and I've open source and make our contents Creative Commons on, on of our games. So uh, the art and sound, actually it has sound, but uh, I, I don't know how to pay the sound. Are available here as assets so that writers can write their story using all these assets to make uh, interactive games like this. Oh, just now it's a choice. I, I, I skip too fast. There are a choice of uh, uh, three choices. Based on the choices, the story will be uh, different. And you can see these are the contributors of these stories. And uh, it's not really composed by the director, but organized by the platform itself because uh, every single note or every single image, the platform knows who made it. And, and we can check the, the, the background of that particular creator and what he did before, like uh, they have other contents. This is kind of like, uh, IMDB for the movie industry, but uh, it, it's like IMDB, but deployed it on the ACG industry. So this is the, the other. I'm running out of time, so I, I'm going to uh, warp up the presentation really quick. So our vision is to have, uh, we, we, we believe uh, creativity can be maximized by reasonable rewards and permissive license. And we are trying to offer Creative Commons, a business model, so that uh, people who contribute to the content community can make money out of it. So uh, this is our roadmap. We started uh, a year ago for brainstorming and uh, development, and uh, we uh, we sold some of Litecoin last year to fund our development and promotion. And right now we're in the uh, early bird uh, token sales stage. And uh, we are launching Putty Images, which the, the image database that I mentioned, uh, next quarter. And then uh, finally would be the like button and then the blockchain.md. 
Uh, this I, I have to explain a little bit because a lot of people don't understand uh, why we can reward the content creators without having the readers pay. Because we have, in the very beginning, we have reserved 50% of the coins, uh, which we call creators pool. These are all for the creators over uh, 10 years. So over actually 28 years, but 90% of the coin will be minted in the first 10 years. So uh, these 1 billion coins will be minted to the minted and distributed to the content creators day by day. Every day we do settlement and they check uh, how much they, how much Litecoin they get through their contents. Uh, this is the token sales schedule and uh, these are some of the early adopters. This particular company is my own uh, game company so we, we contribute all the artworks and then some, some others are the internet uh, media that incorporate light button such as Famitsu in, in Japan and uh, our advisors, supporters, our team and uh, last but not least if you are interested to know more because I have really short time uh, please go to uh, depending on your like interest the, the uh, website is light.co and then if you are a coder you can go github to search for Litecoin, it's all open source, you can see it, uh, get it today. And if you have Twitter, uh, Telegram, Medium or whatever, search for Litecoin, uh, Medium, Litecoin, there are a lot of other articles to uh, explain the concept in uh, deeper uh, than what I just talked about just now. And this is my contact just in case you need to reach me. On all the, like, all the Social media is uh, CK Express. That that's me. Thank you. Yes. For the image comparison, is it using any kind of perceptual hash, or is it really just like embedding, let's say, one data, one image? The the hash the hash is uh, just SHA two fifty six, just like Bitcoin the hash, and uh, so is that uh, we incentivize people to follow the protocol because if they, it's not that we protect the copyright but uh, it's the reverse. We incentivize people to open up their license and we incentivize people to use it because if they don't use it, if they don't attribute the original uh, creator, they don't get Litecoin. It, it is, it's this logic, yes? You say that you're rewarding creativity, but aren't you really rewarding <coughs> Uh, online marketing reach? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, part of part of it. Uh, as I explained, there are two elements: number of likes that uh, affect the number of Litecoin that they will get, and the other element, which is actually more important, is the like rank, which is actually a measure of how many uh, derivative work uh, an image has generated. The second element is more important but uh, we, we see uh, it's hard to say uh, in my from my perspective because oh so uh, I don't have time to go too too deep but this is a very good question uh, we, we have a lot put a lot of thoughts on this uh, apart from the very traditional way of like uh, popping up something to ask the board to prove it's not a board. Uh, we also have uh, some mechanism on light.co. People can uh, prove their ident identity on, in a decentralized way, uh, in a social way, to prove that they are, they are human. And it will affect a lot of, uh, uh, affect the number of, I mean, the strength of their like a lot. Uh, we, we have a white paper on light.co, uh, you, you, you get in, uh, you check out the white paper, there are a lot of detail, and, and I can actually talk to you afterward. What's yes. the value of a Litecoin? Sorry? What's the value of Litecoin? Oh, we, we are selling at, uh, in the public sale, we are selling at one Ethereum to uh, 40,000 40, uh, like, but, but it's just for uh, token sale. Afterwards, it's, it's uh, just depending on the uh, 
supply and demand. It depends on the market. Yes. Well, my concept is made for the app. app application. Do you have the plan to integrate this uh, system, my concept, into the non-blockchain system like the? Uh, Yes, sir, yes, yes. Web, WordPress uh, plugin is actually the biggest uh, step we're going to take uh, next, early next year. Uh, when I say dApps, it's like, uh, sorry, I, I, I'll, I'll finish this last question. So, as I mentioned, there are three dApps. These are like the fundamentals. Uh, uh, an article database, an image database, and if you have a WordPress website for example and you post a blog post on on your WordPress site that has words that have article and then images we will actually regard it as a directive work of the image and the article you you post an article on your WordPress we will uh, take out the words to put it on blockchain we'll take out the image to put it on put images and your article will become the derivative work of these two uh, particular content. So you, you don't have to be an D-app yourself. Thank you. Uh, last but not least, I have uh, some souvenirs, which are like Litecoins for Will. Uh, and if you're interested, I, I can give you some. You, there's a redeem code that we can redeem Litecoin. Thank you. Sorry about the, uh, <laughs> thank you. Sorry, because uh, oh, yep. you can you can plug in.